Art Walk will always have a special place in my heart. It's the first place that I ever showed my art in, in a little show. Um, it gave me some confidence that helped me move forward to where I am today. It's a great place for young people to show their work in all, all avenues. Growing up in, in the heart of Montana, I was enthralled with the idea that artists could create a window into this world, whether it's the future or the past. You could just create this three-dimensional world on a two-dimensional surface. Well, there's a lot that goes into a painting that, that maybe people don't realize. I go and collect reference material in Yellowstone and, and branches um, to create the paintings that I want to create. So first I'll go to Yellowstone for maybe a week and just capture tons of images of animals and then I come home. I have an idea, uh, I want to do an elk painting or a pronghorn painting, for example, and uh, I kind of see it how I think it might work in my head and then I'll go and look through my library of images and say, well, I might be able to use this one, I might be able to use this pronghorn, because I like the way he's standing, I like the way his, his head is turned, so I like the way that he's standing away from this pronghorn, but he's looking back. That's the fun of being an artist. I get to idealize something that didn't actually happen in nature. Horses have always been a huge part of my life. When I was a kid, I just loved the fact that this huge animal would trust a human enough to let somebody ride them, to control them, to uh, I just thought that was uh, neat. Also, I think the horse has a, a noble past. Uh, the way they came over, the way they changed the American West, they, they changed the way that a whole population on the American frontier um, hunted, the way they warfare. And as an artist, I love the fact that horses have short hair and you can really see their, their muscles, especially when they walk. You can just see their muscles contract and expand, and, and I, I just, I loved watching it. I used to have a very in-depth job. I was an environmental uh, scientist, and uh, I, was, I had an injury that I was no longer able to do some of the things that I wanted to do. I lost everything, everything I owned, um, and the art helped me through that. Through my darkest days, I was, still drawing. As I moved forward uh, and I got well again, I started painting again. And I would sell my, I would put my pictures up on Facebook because I grew up hearing, you, you know, you can't be an artist, starving artist, all these things that we hear. And I, so I, I never thought that, that was an avenue that I could take. And when I, they started selling, I I thought, wow, I, I can do this. Um, this is my studio. It's in a back bedroom of our, our, our house, and, and I'm quickly outgrowing it. It's small, my paintings are getting bigger. In it, I try to capture all the things that, that bring me joy in life. It has things from my past. I have my, my ranger's hat. I used to be a ranger in Yellowstone. Um, animals that I've hunted with my father. There's things that inspire me. There's pictures of other artists. All the things in this world that I love. All these things I, I, I use to inspire me. When I joined this, this artist community, I, I, I didn't realize that it was um, kind of a, a family and, and artists are, are so willing to, to share with you and teach you and help you um, and I never experienced that before. I don't know why, I don't know if because they got help from other people that they want to pass it on. That's certainly how I feel. I think there's some great opportunities for artists to to young artists, to professional artists, to show their work. Obviously, there's the uh, Palouse Plain Air and, and there's their Art Walk. There's opportunities that I didn't know existed for, for artists. There's the Idaho Arts Commission where artists can um, submit to, to get uh, funding to business development, whether that's workshops to make you a better artist or, or a better businessman. We've lived here in Moscow, Idaho for six years approximately and uh, uh, we love it here.